हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज एंड इकोलॉजी एंड एनवायरमेंटल सैनिटेशन आर द सब्जेक्ट्स व्हिच आर मेनली बेस्ड ऑन स्टडी ऑफ इकोसिस्टम्स एंड बायोडाइवर्सिटी सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दिस इन अपकमिंग सेशंस आवर फर्स्ट सेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ इकोलॉजी एंड इको now what is ecology basically this word ecology is derived from one greek word oikos meaning of this word is place to live or house uh, ecology is concerned not only with organisms but with energy flow and material cycles on the land in the oceans in the air and in the fresh waters uh, usually we can say that this branch is multidisciplinary science and we are going to study about different living organisms and their environment next term which is related to this ecology is ecosystem which is proposed by arthur transley in 1935 ecosystem is defined as the system resulting from integration of all the living and non living factors of environment each and every ecosystems are self contained in ecosystem nutrients and minerals pass from one feeding level to next and may be recycled for many generations there are different types of ecosystems first one is natural ecosystem again this natural ecosystem is classified as terrestrial ecosystem in which we can consider forest grassland and desert ecosystems next ecosystem is aquatic ecosystem where again we can classify it as fresh water ecosystem and marine ecosystem in fresh water we can consider pond lake and river ecosystems whereas in marine ecosystem we can consider oceans and estuaries next ecosystem is a uh, artificial ecosystem there are again different types of artificial ecosystem basically first one is artificial lakes and ponds and second one is crop lands now next point is components of ecosystem uh, basically uh, there are two types of components first one is biotic component and second one is abiotic component in biotic component again we can classify it as under it as producers consumers and decomposers first part is producers so producers are the organisms we who can produce their food with the help of sunlight actually there are again two types of producers first one is photoautotrophs and second one are chemotrophs photoautotrophs are those who can produce their food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll whereas chemotrophs who produce their food with the help of uh, oxidation and reduction process generally in every ecosystem producers generally we can consider uh, green plants next point consumers consumers again they are classified as herbivores carnivores omnivores and detritivores herbivores are those animals who feed on producers uh, we can give examples like uh, deer then goat elephant next are carnivores who feed on herbivores there are many examples of carnivores like tiger lion next uh, we can consider 
omnios omnios are those who can feed on ha carnios as well as who can consume plants for their survival last one are detrios the last biotic component is decomposers decomposers are generally microorganisms who feed on dead organisms next part is abiotic components in abiotic component we can consider climatic and physical factors uh, like temperature pressure rainfall next component is inorganic components uh, in which different minerals carbon nitrogen are present last one is organic components where proteins lipids we can consider in this particular part next and which is very important part is food chain each and every ecosystem consist of different types of food chain food chain we can say it is a transfer of food energy from source in plants through series of organisms which repeated eating and being eaten is referred as food chain and next part is food web a uh, food webs are again we can say it is a part of food chain but it is a interlinking of n number of food chains we can give n number of examples related to food chain